Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Takatanaka Giants here with a uh, seven card mail day for you guys. Six museum hits and one uh, tribute hit, one tribute auto. So I'll be getting to that in a quick second. Um, real quick, two quick plugs. One, first one for myself, this week's contest. Link will be down below in the description box. If you haven't entered into the contest yet, please uh, take a look at that. I try to give stuff away every week and this week is no different. So I'm giving away two of these golden giveaway codes. Um, if you guys saw my video earlier, I I, I guess I pulled the uh, Darvish card, so that's pretty cool. Happy with that for my PC. But um, yeah, go ahead and leave a submission for that contest um, on that video's comment board. And um, thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Um, and then on to my second little plug for today. Um, it's actually for my good buddy S. Feistel. He's, uh, he's having a group break for 2012 Tier 1. Um, some pretty sick stuff in that product. I'll leave a link down below for his group break video and for the uh, the checklist from Sports Card Radio. That's a pretty cool checklist. Um, there's some really ridiculous stuff in this product. Um, all killer, no filler. Basically, it's just no base cards. <laughs> Surprisingly, it doesn't seem like there are any base cards, just all hits. Um, so, that's that. Uh, $45 one team, $80 two teams. Get a bit of a discount if you buy more than one. Uh, one case equals 12 boxes. So, I mean, that's a, it seems like it might be a little high, but there's a lot of product that's getting busted, a lot of cards. So, that is that. Um, break on release, May, uh, sorry, June 19th. So, uh, yep, that's cool. Um, so, a little plug for that. But, uh, yeah, so on to the mail day, guys. Sorry about the delay. Um, since it is a mail day, I like to introduce something kind of unique or different about Japan. And today is kind of special because I have a request, a request from... Um, a good Japanese buddy of mine, I believe he's half Japanese, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but 35 Hosmer, um, I was in his blog room the other day and he asked me about these potato chips and I didn't have any at the time, so I went out to the store, picked them up over the weekend and um, here's what he wanted me to pick up for him. So yeah, as you can see, 35 Hosmer, um, I guess I'll leave his link down below as well if you want to check him out. Um, he goes on blog every now and then, so it's pretty cool. I do like... Uh, I do like to subscribe to YouTubers that go on blog as well. It kind of adds a fun little aspect to the whole YouTube uh, um, YouTube experience, I guess. So, but anyways, yeah. So here are the chips: Caramucho, 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 Caramucho. Hot chili flavor. Um, as you see here, it says number one. This is the uh, number one selling snack here in Japan. It's kind of like a popular, very very popular item. Um, yeah, if you go to a party. This will be there, Karamucho. So, what I'm going to do today, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. And I'm going, uh, since 1984. But I'm going to open it up, throw some in this uh, Japanese bowl that I have here. Um, this is actually probably more expensive than any single card that I have on the table, <laughs> including my Gold Onyx 101. Um, it's actually a wedding gift that my wife and I got. Um, it's probably about, runs probably close to $300. Something like that. So, um, yeah, we hardly ever use it. And um, I'll try to be gentle with it today. Please don't tell my wife because she'll probably kill me if she found out that I'm putting potato chips in this type of dish. But uh, hey, for fun, right? Here we go, guys. So open it up. Take a look. Sorry if it's a little loud. There you go. Oh, that's what they look like. Let me go ahead and just put a couple in here very gently because I don't want to scratch another design. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, I will enjoy some of the chips right now. Maybe just one. Caramucho for you, 35 Hosmer. Mmm, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I can see why they're number one. So, that's that. I'm going to enjoy that later. Try to eat all that before my wife gets home. Um, here we go, guys. So, here are the uh, the cards that I got in. I'm just going to go ahead and bring down the camera a little bit and uh, zoom in rather than trying to focus in and out all the time. It's kind of a pain. So, here we go, guys. All right. So, starting off, I have a... Um, Let's see, Alan Craig out of 209, Swatch, 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 Stigarado. Not too bad, I got a good deal on it. So, um, and then on to some really nice cards. Actually, no, I'll probably leave those for last because I'm happier with these than some of the other stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of put this stack like this. Um, starting off, I guess, with a tribute hit. I have a Mike Trout Auto out of 50. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this one for my collection. He's, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, he's highly touted. Hope he does well. Offside. And um, another museum hit. This one's really sick. 
At a 25, I have a gold Ryan Zimmerman auto. Um, as you can see, one, two, three, four, four break patch on the left and a game used bat that um, actually has some of the, um, I don't know what you call it, but you know, in wood you find a little bit of uh, not really damage, but coloring, I guess. So that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, it's gold, so pretty cool card. I like that one. And then moving on, um, so these are the cards that I really wanted. Uh, not the Alan Craig, really, but uh, the other cards. I think I might start a uh, little Starling Castro PC. But uh, these cards are just ridiculously just dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty cards. Castro, you're a dirty, dirty man. There we go. So uh, starting off with the quad at a 99. Yep, 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 yep. Pinstripe, 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 pinstripe. A little dirty here, a little dirty here, and then dirty, and it just gradually gets dirtier. Moving on, I have the uh, 4 out of 75. Patch, very cool looking patch, 3 break. Pinstripe, pinstripe, pinstripe with... Um, at first I thought, when I when I saw this up on the... Uh, when I was bidding on it, I thought it was blood spots or something. <laughs> Maybe he went and you know, hit somebody or got into a collision, but um, it just looks like dirt. So that's out of 75. Uh, I believe they call it the Red Parallel or... Uh, gosh, I can't remember the name it was exactly. I know somebody corrected me earlier, but... Anyways, that's out of 75. And then uh, moving on to the two nicer ones. Out of 59. Dirty. Pinstripe, Pinstripe, Starling Castro, Sticker Auto, and the same card, but dirtier. <laughs> I have the uh, another one out of 59, Dirt, Pinstripe with Dirt, and then just, just Dirt. I don't even know if there's Pinstripe in there because there's so much Dirt on the card. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, those are my cards, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six trib uh, sorry, six museum hits and, uh, and one tribute hit. So let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks a lot, 35 Hosmer, for the... Uh, Recommendation. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit, a little close. Thanks a lot for the uh, the recommendation on the, uh, or yeah, I guess recommendation or request rather for the Kuramucho, uh, Kuramucho chips. If any of you guys have a recommendation or some uh, sweets or, uh, you know, whatever you guys want to see on camera, I'm more than happy to oblige as long as it's in my budget, <laughs> in my snack budget. But uh, that's it, guys. So uh, be sure to check out all the links that I have down below for my contest. Uh, for 35 Hosmer, and also for my good buddy S. Feistel's group break. If you want to get on in that, it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, peace. Have a good week. Bye-bye.